Hello, it's me, and I've had some requests to do this Sun Mum Cube. Interesting name, but uh, it's actually a pretty interesting structure. It has all the looks of a 3x3, but um, it's got some unique moves. Actually, it has what I would call mix-up moves, where if you put it at a 45 degree angle like this, you can do mix-up moves. Mix-up moves means that you can take edges and put them into center positions, and then hilarity ensues with that. So. Uh, so you can see that you can really switch around what is a center and what is an edge. And uh, this is a little bit different though because you actually have more going on with the center. So the center is kind of divided up into its own little 3x3 three three with edges and corners and central centers. So how does this compare to uh, an actual mix-up cube and is there any issues with uh, solve that makes this unique? Well. So the first step with this is I would go through the process of, um, of scrambling it, of course. So we'll just scramble it as a 3x3 three three first. So we're going to go across here, here. So the structure of the puzzle is very playable, very smooth. It's actually very well put together. Uh, but is it just another version of a mix-up? Well, we'll find out. Once we've done this, that we, we're going to want to try to mix up these centers. So we're going to have to do 45 degree turns and when we do that you can see that I'm separating this center from this part and if I turn it this way it'll separate it from that part. So that's one way of doing it. We'll do um, 180 degree turn here and here and I'm going to do it again here and here. So already we have a little stripe there and now I'm just going to turn it like this and do more mixing up just like that. Okay, now we're going to turn this over here and here. So you can see that I'm starting to even scramble this portion of it. Whoa, here and where? Here? Sure, why not? So it's really just a matter of finding your way through. Actually, what I could do is do some more scrambles like this so that I can offset things, kind of take the pattern out a little bit more. So we'll move this over to here. And sometimes it can catch a little bit, and that's if we're not completely where we want to be. Okay, that's okay over there. And we'll turn this like so. So I'm going to keep doing this until I have what looks to be a pretty fairly solid random looking scramble. This will move here, this will move here, and this will move here. This looks a little too symmetric over here, so if I hold it like this, I'll get the effect that I'm looking for. Turn here and here. Okay, so all things considered, I think we're looking at a pretty good scramble of our central pieces. Maybe just to drive the point home, we'll do a couple more, maybe. This will turn here and this will turn here. Okay, uh, once we've done that, we're gonna start doing mix-up moves. Where, so I'm gonna start putting edges in center positions and then start moving like this. We've already got a couple there, so I'm just going to move around like so. Now, notice as I'm doing this, still we have these, uh, we've got flat center um, terminal pieces here and ones that are domed, but they still follow what the... Okay, now to make it look even more scary, we're going to go 45 degree angles again. Well, I think we're a little too messed up here. 45 degree angles again here, and then start to separate these out. So now you can see this is no longer flat, and this is no longer flat. So by doing that, that teases that out. We're going to do more angles like that. We see that this won't move, nor will this move, because of, uh, because of how it's bandaged. So let's see if we can do more like that in that vein. Um, okay, so you can see we're starting to get more and more bandaged. I don't want to get it too bandaged as of yet because there's more mixing up I want to do. Okay, so this looks sufficiently scary and scrambled. So where do we begin? How do we start? Well, what you want to do is try to unbandage this puzzle as much as possible. Right now I have it uh, in kind of a ghost formation where you see the corners are off. So first thing to do is, of course, get the corners back. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're not uh, blocking certain moves. In other words, if we find ourselves like this, this is going to be blocking some moves, so we don't want to, we don't want to have it like that. 
I'm just curious if, yeah, so really everything is uh, um, out over here. So we'll just go like this so that we can make sure that we're freed up. Um, actually, the next thing that we want to do is these uh, edge and corner center parts. Some of them are flat and some of them are sort of facing out. We have to get them so that they're all flat. So how are we going to do that? Well, it's easy to see that if one is flat, if, I, if one is out rather, non-flat, and I do a 45 degree turn, you can see it becomes flat if I were to go something like that. So what we want to do is we want to pair them as much as we can, the ones that are out, and we want to put them all around this side so that one 45 degree turn will make them all flat. So how are we going to do that? Well, each of these are going to have two sets. So two, four, six, eight. If you get eight together, then one 45 degree turn will move them all in. So we need to make sure that we have eight total, basically. So I've got two here, I've got one here. So one, two, three, four, because this is uh, not right, and five, so that's five, six, seven, eight. So in this particular case, I have eight that's already in. Now it might not turn out that way, but if it does turn out this way, then you're doing pretty good. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, no, oh, well, six, seven, and eight. It might not necessarily turn out that way, so let me scramble it just a little bit more to see if I can get multiples that are not eight. Okay, so here's another scrambled state, and here you can see this won't move because this is in the way, so we're gonna just move this up like so. And now let's do, uh, let's kind of recount and see how many of these are flat and how many aren't. We've got one, none of these, two, three, none of these, four, five, six, so we've got six. So uh, I, I'm not gonna say a specific technique on how to do this, but try to make it to where there's eight. So if there's six, um, if I have one, two, three, I need, I need to get four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to get five uh, more. So do I have five flat ones that I can make into angled ones? One, two, not this, three, four, and then five. So I do. So in that case, what I'll do is I'm just going to take this and move this 90 degrees. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So um, sometimes it's a little harder than that. And if there's any further questions, I can go over that again. But suffice it to say, keep working with it until you have eight of these that are angled and eight that are flat. So in this case, I had five. So I just uh, tried to isolate some. I had one, two, three, and I had to get five. So I found that there are five flat ones and I just moved it up like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to move all eight into one plane, like this plane over here. So let's take the majority here and here. So we've got these two that are up, these two that are up. This is one that's up. We'll move that in the same plane. And here we have one that's up over here. Okay, so I want to move these flat ones in. And the way that I can do that is exchange it with this or move these uh, angled ones. So to, so to exchange it, we've got a flat one here and an angled one here. To exchange it, just move them right next to each other. Simply move it up, double turn, and move it down. So you'll find that the flat one is here and here, and I've got two angled ones here. So angled, 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 and I got a flat one here and an angled one here. So what I'm gonna do is move it up to where I want to exchange it, take this, move it next to it, move it up by 45 degrees, and then, now this guy does not want to turn. And then, uh, unless I got lost trying to move it, double turn it and move it back down. Okay, so this is all flat, these are flat, and these are all angled. So that's what it comes down to. You try to get eight along in here. Now that might have been more simple than usual, but usually it comes out that way for me. So then I just move 145 degree, and you'll find that all of these guys are flat. The next step that we do is we take these corners, uh, edges rather, move them into edge places, and these centers move them into center places. And that's actually easy. This is the easiest part of the solve, actually. So take this, move it to the side here, and then take your edge piece, 
move it down. Uh, we have to make sure that this isn't blocking. And it'll become apparent when you have to do this. So we're going to turn this. So we're going to take this, move it so that it's right next to the center area that we're going to switch it with. And then just go... But it won't. I'd like to do a down move, but it won't let me. It should, it's just kind of blocked somewhere. Let's move it all the way. Okay, so this was a down, down, up. Well, it should be up, but I gotta go all the way up here. Up, and then move this up like so. Okay, so that was placed in. Wow, um, seems much more rickety than usual. Okay, move this back down here. Um, all right, let's make sure I didn't get any of these centers out with all my struggling. Okay, so I'm gonna exchange this with this. This moves down. And then we're gonna exchange it with this. So we'll go, boy, this really doesn't want it to, down. Down, up, up, and this moves up. So very quickly you'll be able to get it to where you want it to be. We're going to exchange this with this. So move this from center to edge position. I'm going to go down, down, up, up, and this is pulled up. So now we just have a couple more to go. This will move down into edge position. And then we do down, down, up. Oh, we don't have to do up. And then boom, we have one more, I believe. So we move this to the side, move this in edge position, and we go down, down, and up, up, and boom, it's done. So now we've got it back into a position in which it can, um, be fully moved, so it's completely unbandaged at this point. Okay, so now that we've got it to a cubic form, we're going to want to reduce the centers. And uh, at its heart, it's not too terribly difficult. Basically what we want to do, and this is going to be the most straightforward part of the solve, is the first thing that I want to do is take a color and just do an entire bar here. It's going to be the center with two central edges over here. So I'm going to find a central edge that's right next to it, like over here, move it to the side, and then we're going to go across, and actually, if I put this here, you can see that it's going to move these two together. So actually I'm going to move it to this side, move this to the side over here, and then just go splat. Okay, so you see I've created a side here. Now what I want to do is I want to assemble an edge, a central edge with central corner pieces with a green one. So we've got this over here, and I'm gonna match it with this green side here. And the way that that's gonna work is you can see that if I were to move this here, it's gonna cause this to move down to here. So what that means is I'm gonna take this green and move it to the opposite side all the way over to the side here. So move this like so and go splat. Okay, so we've got half of that in. Now I'm going to move this, I'm going to move this to here. So if I were to move this like so, and you can see that by moving it like this, I'm going to grab these two pieces, and it's going to match to this guy. And this is on the opposite side, all the way to the, to the side of the corner slice here. So move this over here and bang, so that's it. Once I've done that, I can then take this line and move it to here. And by holding it where this is going up and down, and this is going up and down, I can um, move this to the side, put this to the side here, and then move this in place over here. So now you can see I've got half of this done. Now bear in mind, any time I do this move, I'm only going to be moving these two centers. So I don't have to worry about what's happening with this. So here's this, uh, this side over here, this central edge piece, and I'm going to take this, move it to the opposite side here, all the way to the left so that when I move this in 45 degree position, boom, this matches up here. 
Then I find, I find the other green, which is over here. Now it's gotta be next to it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna take this and move this to the side here. And that'll mean I'm ready to now take these two and match it up to here. So remember, this is on the opposite side all the way to the right over here, and bang. So now this is in. So here's how this is gonna work. To coordinate this, by holding it over here and moving it like this, I'm gonna grab these two and move it into here. And cur splat. So now this is reduced. Okay, the next step is I'm gonna reduce the one that goes opposite that, which is gonna be the blue. This is already in, so I can move it in with this by putting this over here, and this matches this over to here. Whoops. Now it doesn't matter if I put the blue one in the proper place, I'm just matching it up with corners, with the central edge, rather. So just find where it's gonna match, where this 45 degree turn is gonna grab these two and move it into here, boom. So to move it down here, I'm simply gonna move it in this direction. Well, actually, like this. And I'm just gonna exchange these two pieces. And this will put this in the area that I want. Okay, so we're cruising. So now we've got this over here, and I'm gonna put this in this place. So this corner and this corner place over here. So move this, uh, well, like so. And this is gonna go on the opposite side all the way to the left here. So that way when I move it in 45 degree position, both of these are gonna be grabbed, move it in, and now all this is in. So with that said, I'm not gonna move this into this slot, and the way that's gonna work is the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and line it up with this uh, line over here. So I'm gonna take my center, move it in with, with my central edge, and then I'm gonna take this and move it 180 degrees, and simply move it where it's gotta be here, boom. Okay, so like I say, it's a pretty straightforward part. This is now gonna match with this guy. Move him all the way to the side and just turn this over here. All right, now after I've done that, this is gonna move all the way to the side, uh, the opposite um, layer that this is up here and just coordinate it like so. Bang. Okay, so now this is fine. The way that this is gonna work now is I'm gonna take this, and uh, I don't wanna move this whole thing out because the uh, center is gonna be in the wrong place. So I'm gonna move it over here. I'm actually gonna take this guy and line him up to here, keeping this one where it is. So this is what that's gonna look like. I'm just gonna move it in, in like this. And now I'm gonna turn this 180 degrees so these two can move in this position over here. So something you probably could have figured out, but there it is, so boom. So now I've got the top and the bottom. So uh, I can pick a random color. This already has the line in here, and you know how to get that in. So what I'm gonna do is simply create a line over here. Okay, now I won't be able to grab it. If I move it like this, this is gonna separate out from that. So as you can see, if I wanna move this to here, I have to move it down in this position. So this is gonna to have to come up to here. This is down, this is up. So move it in 45 degree position and boom. So now this is in. Once I have that in, I have to move it next to this guy. So let's do just that. Okay, and having done that, I'm gonna move this up. And I'm gonna take this and move this next to here. Okay, so we continue to follow suit the same way. I wanna take this, I need to find another corner yellow that's next to this. So I'm gonna take this actually, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it away from here. It's not gonna mess this up or this up or what I've done so far. I'm gonna move this away from here. So now I can move it in this position. We're on the bottom, so I'll move this to the top all the way to the end. And that lines it up. Okay, this guy is actually, I don't even have to move, because now this will come right into here. So I've got my third stripe, and the way that this will work is there's no particular configuration that I'm looking for. 
So I'm just gonna move this into here. Bang. Okay, so now that I've got three, I need to make sure that I put the right one in, the correct one in. So I'm gonna match this corner here to this here, so I know red is supposed to be here. So I know that the red is gonna be in this slot. So I've got this line, I'm gonna make a line here. So put another central edge in. And the way that that's gonna work is I'm gonna first move this away from here to move it into here. And now to move it back, I'm gonna double turn this to move these two back to here. And cur if it can, sometimes it gets all caught up. Okay, so I've got this here. And now uh, this is already created here and you might find that, it's kind of a kindness. So let's go ahead and move this in like so. And now what we're gonna do is move these guys. I gotta move this next to here. It's gonna take this out of this spot temporarily. Boom. And now I'm gonna move both of these two, if I move it 180 degrees, back to here. And splat, okay. Now I've got one more stripe to do with this. This is top, so I'm gonna put this on the bottom. Move this here and match it in. So we're good. Okay, now the other red is right here. All right, what I'm gonna wanna do is let's take this, I'm gonna wanna move this piece to here, but I, I gotta move this out of the way, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna move this out of the way for now. Get it out of the field of action. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna move this away from this guy over here, so double turn. So this is isolated. This is in the wrong place, but that's okay. I'm really just trying to get this out of the way. So now I'm gonna move the, these two back and this is now isolated here. Okay, so now it's just a matter of, this is down, I'm gonna move this up, roll it into here and now I've got this stripe over here. So remember, what I have to do is I have to move it out and then move it back. So that way I'm gonna take the center, move it out into this stripe here. So these are together. Then I have to rotate this 180 degrees. So I can take these two and move it in with this guy, boom. Okay, so now we're down to the last two centers. And this is where things may get a little more complicated, but here's how I would do this. Just hold on to trying to put all the edges in. And ultimately what you're gonna be looking for is you're gonna to try to find, you're gonna to try to get everything in except for one edge corner pair. So um, we know that orange is gonna be here and white's gonna be here. But let's go ahead and do an exchange here. I'm gonna move this white to here and this, rather this orange to here and this white to here. Now I wanna move it back. So I'm gonna move this like so. Okay. All right, so now we can kind of get a lay of the land here a little bit. Uh, let's see, so if we were to move this, this orange can come over to here and this orange can come to here. So um, now your, it's, here's is gonna look different. So you just have to do the best that you can. But if I turn this here, this orange is gonna come to here, this white's gonna come up here. So I'm really trying to match um, edge corner pairs as much as I can now, boom. Okay, so I like this over here, I like this over here. So let's see, I'm gonna try to match without destroying this. I'm gonna try to match this to here, and this white to here. Okay. All right, now that we have that, what I can do is try to bring this back to here. And boom. Okay. So there's something of a symmetry here. Okay, 
Now by moving this, I'm trying to get our edges back. So what I've done is I've got these two that are out and these two that are out, and that's what I wanted to do. Now, it's gonna, there's gonna be some playing around with it, but eventually if you just keep working on putting edges in and then try to match some corners, you'll get it. But once you get it into this configuration, what you're gonna wanna do is hold one of them all the way to the left and one of them up. So all the way to the left and one of them up, because if you go like this, you're gonna have one line here and one line here, and that's really what you want. Okay, so all the way to the left and up the edge and corner pair. I'm gonna to wanna to move this into here and this to here, and I can do that by just going splat. Okay, so what you see is we have our centers reduced. Now, you may have noticed I didn't give you every possible scenario, but that's not really the point of this tutorial. The point is to see if I can get you out of certain sticky spots. But the last two centers, just keep working with it. And uh, I'm not going to give you every algorithm for every scenario because the fun thing about this puzzle is it's not just a matter of algorithms. Just keep playing around with it. You know the moves you have to make. Get it to that final position that I showed you and then that final thing that I showed you will be the way to sort of get one line in one area, another line in another area. Aside from that, I invite you to just work with those last two centers. That's sort of the part of the playing around with the puzzle. Um, so if you were looking for, if you have a certain configuration that you just can't get out of, let me know, but otherwise you'll, you'll get it. Just keep working on your edges and then try to match edges with corners and you'll eventually get it to the place that you want. So all you've got to do now is do your 3x3 solve.